So with all that said and done, you know, then we have our lines of attack, which kind of go with the position which you talked about. He's either going to come at me in a straight line, which, which you know, he's just going to come straight at me, in which case I typically want to work a different angle or in trap. Normally, my first choice, when somebody comes in a straight line with me, my defensive choices are to move to the side. It's going to strengthen my position, weaken his position. All right? If he starts coming at me in zigzag and working angles, I'm probably going to walk straight in. One of the rules I do with line of attack is, like, if, I, if you want to throw a strong right hand and he's off of my lead shoulder, you know, he's right over here, if I have to reach across my body to hit him, I'm not going to have a very successful right hand. Uh, so I don't even throw it. If we're standing like this, stand a little bit right here, so kind of right, right there. If we're standing here where he's, see where my right shoulder is? If, and I have to reach across myself to hit him, then that's weakening and shortening my punch. Plus it's exposing my back for people to get work around me. If I'm doing all this leaning and he wants to pass me and go behind me, it's pretty easy to do. All he has to do is just push my elbow or slap my arm out of the way. Unlike what we're trying to teach you earlier. All right back. Remember, he's off my lead shoulder, my right shoulder's exposed to midair. And I do this. All he's got to do is just pass. And he's got me. He's on my back. And if his head's up there, I can't even hit him, you know. So I want someone to think what I do is I don't even throw this right hand. If, if he's starting to say he moves that way and then he moves this way and then he moves that way, and I'm like, hold on. As soon as he steps this way, bang, I just drop the right hand. Because all your power drives right off your back leg through your shoulder, just straight off. So I don't, don't reach across your body. Some people may tell you that lie. Don't do it. You want to punch straight off your shoulder. It's going to give you more power or palm heel, whatever your strike is. Same with the elbows. Straight off your shoulder, straight through the opponent. Don't work these crossing techniques. All right? That, that's just going to get you in trouble. You know? If, if, if for example, if I'm, if I'm off at an angle and he reaches with his right to hit me, see, he's reaching, he's leaning. If I take that little side step and I want to, and I choose to close in on him here, this is easy, easy to do. I can take him down pretty easy with that position or reach between his legs, bite him in the back. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do, all right? So we talked about positioning, economy of motion, conservation of energy. We talked about our critical distance, which is very, very important, and in our lines of attack, you know? Uh, counter straight lines with angular motion. Counter angular motion with straight lines. It, it typically works very well. Hey gang, quick announcement. I've got some ultra brutal fight ending moves that I'm not able to share with you here on the YouTube platform. They're too ugly, too vicious, and quite honestly, too lethal. YouTube simply doesn't want this kind of material on their site. I can't blame them. This stuff is pretty rough, but when the shit hits the fan and your life is on the line, you're gonna need something truly nasty to end a fight in just a matter of seconds. This lethal training is yours free. Just click on the link below and it'll take you to the site so you can get your free video right now. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.